good morning so it is wednesday march 15th so oh my goodness so we're in the middle of march i feel like that means there's lots of stuff which i haven't done anyway today i have a day off from work i'm in thursday friday i've been in monday tuesday well that's how it is so i thought today well today i've got to do lots of work which is what this is and what you can't see there <laughs> um which is another load of clothing so this is technically a clothing haul but obviously should probably do an update because i think the last video that i did i was like saying i was taking the car in for the mot and that was like something that had been sort of like hanging over my head most of the beginning of the year because the last time oh i've got blue tits apparently on the balcony i wonder what they're eating ah they're eating the aphids off my um roses which is a bit weird that i should have aphids when it's been snowing because that's what most people will know is that it's been snowing so yeah dragged myself out of bed on the friday which was, was my day off um my husband also took the day off but he was just flaked out from work but he'd sort of taken the day off because part of me was just like thinking oh he's gonna have we're gonna need his his credit card we're gonna need his bank account we're gonna need we're gonna need to like split the cost of it because the previous year it was about 800 pounds to get it through um initially they said it was going to be over a thousand and we'd like said to them oh well we can't afford that so we'll leave it with you um and we'll leave it with you and until we can afford it and then suddenly 400 pounds came off the repair price so that's worth remembering if you're <laughs> if you're ever taking your car in just say oh well bollocks to it just keep it because that's my feelings I was, if it's if it's if it's part, failed as MOT you can't drive it home can you <laughs> anyway yeah it went in and then they rang me after I'd walked all the way back here and they said oh it's it's passed it's got some advisor ears so we have got to take it back in so it does it does technically need to have like 500 pounds worth of work doing but because we've sort of changed the way we're living with the changed the way we're using our car um my husband takes takes the bus to work a lot now he does still use the car and obviously i'm driving and i use the car but we've barely put any mileage on it at all um and i haven't even been down to my parents all that much either um which is terrible but i've been uh, I, I got so caught up with doing reselling I think that instead of it being um something that was sort of like gave me lots of time it just gave me lots of like feeling like obligated to be always listing always trying to do things um to keep the business going because that was the only source of income so there's probably going to be more leeway now for me to go down and see my parents although I'm working is that I know that if I that even if if I take my foot off the gas with eBay, it's not going to like completely die. Um, it's not going to completely stop me being able to pay my bills. I mean, um, <laughs> let me tell you, I've taken the foot off the gas with my eBay store, and it has nosedived. A lot of people have said that theirs have nosedived, even though they've been like doing all the things which they say do. <laughs> but I have barely listed this month since. I've been ill and I started back at work. I've barely listed. Um, hence why I've got two massive boxes of stock, which have piled up. Hence why I've also got Lego on the floor, which is sort of like halfway through a sort, but I've only sort of got some a few of the things on, which have like sold straight away. Um, but I just haven't been listing on eBay. Um, the only thing that I've done literally in the last month is the stuff which I showed you last week. So I've, I have listed all those jumpers. This puffet here next to my computer is traditionally where all of my clothing stock is that I'm waiting to list. That will be filled by the end of today because I'm going to have a big photography session. Um, it was okay me doing that thing where I 
just took out all those things and then I photographed them and I listed them. However, my feelings are today that I am definitely going to get the ironing board out once and iron everything, work out what's got, you know, stains on it, what's got stuff that needs repairing. And so I'm going to do that, put everything into categories and um, then I am going to get the mannequins out and do it because I was like thinking this and I was just thinking, you know, I've like had the ironing board out and, and, and then I've ended up doing repairs. Um, the mannequin, I've got the mannequin out and the mannequin was stood here all weekend. Was, my husband, when I was at work, he kept, he came in and he thought I was here because the mannequin was stood in the middle of the living room. So that's, <laughs> I'm, I, I just want to do things once and I want to do like a big lion share thing. And I like having a pile of stock there because then when I come in from work, I can just, you know, I'll have two hours where I can just get on with listing if I've done a morning. Or if I'm, if I've get up, you know, if I was like working this afternoon, I could get some bits done and it would all be ready for me. So that's what I want to do is I want to get all of this ready today. <laughs> so what else has happened? I'm sure that I'm supposed to, I'm sure that I've got like other updates. <laughs> I think I've got another cold on the way. <laughs> but I mean, is it any wonder? Um, yeah, eBay is nosedived. eBay is not very good. Um, I had, didn't have make any sales yesterday, so hence why I can just, you know, it's a relief because I don't have to go to the post office today. It doesn't really matter when I'm going to work because I just do it on either side of work, drop my stuff off. So it doesn't really matter. Um, <sighs> what else is there? Yeah, it is It is a ramble. It is a ramble, this. Um and I know that this stuff has sat around for ages because I've just had to dust this box for them to sit on because it's gross. Um, yeah, so not listing properly for eight, for ages, nose dives your store. Those few things that I had, there was only like 15 things which I've listed. So that's like not enough. And that was like since Friday. So I've barely had anything go live. So I do need to get all of this stuff sorted. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Looking at the floor, I probably need to bust the Hoover out before I do anything. So, um, right, let's do the Hoovering before I do this haul video because I want to take everything out of here and I want to put it in piles. Um, but it just looks a bit bitty on this carpet. And I'd like to do my photographing on my carpet. So, um, yeah, you probably think that this is a lovely clean carpet. But to me, this is very bitty. There's bitty there. So what I'm doing is I'm doing this and I'm doing what they're sat on. And this is stuff, this is just like one or two items that I have sourced at work. And, you know, so every day that I'm at work, I, I tend to come home with like about two or three items, which I've sort of like found. It's like one, I know, I know one of them, one of these things I found on the floor and I was like, oh my God, that's mint velvet. Well, we'll take that. Um, probably a regret because it's bobbled. Anyway, yeah, it's I had yesterday at work. It was, that was like one of those days yesterday. I came in from work and I just got straight in the bathtub because the amount of baby vomit that I came in contact with yesterday you know, I haven't had an offspring of my own, so I don't know about baby vomit. But when somebody brings me something over and they put it on the counter for me to ring up at the till, and they've just put it in their pushchair of their horrible little vomity offspring, you know, which was probably an accident. Um, they probably didn't even intend to have this child. It just fell into their womb. And then they were, it came out one day and I was like, oh, Jesus. I'll have to look after this or you know not look after this and just leave it there and then just drag it around charity shops every day because uh, you know it's eye-opening <laughs> yeah so anyway yesterday this this item of clothing that was put there for me to ring up I put my hands on it and it was actually covered in baby vomit because they just put it in front of their child who just vomited on it and then later on in the day there was another one that was covered in vomit so twice yesterday I put my hand in baby vomit 
you know, and obviously all I could do was wash my hands at work and that's all I could do. So yesterday I was just like, I was not enamored with it. And I know that, you know, everybody was saying, well, these are the risks for working at a charity shop. But, you know, um, people are disgusting. Right, so I'm going to hoover this carpet. Just going to have a little dust around with the hoover. Then I'm going to show, I'm going to do sort of like a half haul and then I'm going to do another haul uh, video separate to this because otherwise it would be too long and too crazy and I've hardly got any videos going live on my YouTube anyway. So, right, let's hoover and then I'll be back. Okay, here I am, I'm back. I don't know if that's like weird because I've got the door open. I always think this because I do my photos here and then if I have that door open, it always looks weird. And it shouldn't. But you know, like, look at that. that and that, just closing that, it just brings a load of light into the situation. It's so weird, isn't it? Anyway, I'm just gonna kind of show you what all of this stuff is and we'll have a separate haul of this. We've got four of them out now, so. Um, it's not dirty in here. It's not like it needed a full clean. It's just like, you know, sometimes when you just need to like, just bust out the hoover. It's just, it's just like a little bit bitty. And obviously my hair's probably out. So all of this, you know, and I know that I have the luxury now of like seeing things on a regular basis. Um, but I will reiterate, yes, I'm working in a charity shop, but I can't source from the back. Um, this was one of the agreements because they, they knew full well what I do when I went in for the job. And they said, you can't shop while you're working, which I know. <laughs> um, and they also like says, you can't look at the stuff which is on the rails at the back. You can only look at the stuff which goes onto the shop floor. So I don't get any like real preferential treatment that you th probably think that I do. And I know a lot of people can. Um, the volunteers tend to be able to like look at these look at the stuff but not necessarily like the staff so if I see something that's out on the shop floor when I'm working I do tend to like put it aside and that's it and then after my shift or before my shift it generally if I'm doing a morning I'll, I'll source in the afternoon if I haven't got a massive post which I've got to rush back here for because that's the thing that I found is that I thought oh I can source after my shift but if I've got loads of post that's been too much for me to carry, I've got to come back here and collect it and take it to the post office. Uh, so it ha it, that hasn't been great because otherwise it's like after like, because I'm finishing at half two, it, it just becomes a bit of a, of a palaver and a rush. Um, and obviously I need to get stuff listed as well because that's gone by the by. So, you know, it's not, it's not great. However, um, yeah, I am sort of able to pick things up but they have said, you know, it has to be fair play. Um, the general public customers have to have a chance to see stuff. You can't just cherry pick. So before you think that I'm cherry picking, it, it is also because I, in my heart of hearts, I know that the Lego items that I list sell so quickly. I don't necessarily want to have piles of clothing. I really want to take some of the dross out of it and I only want very specific types of brands going into my shop. Um, there's the sort of brands, so there's like high end high street is gonna be, um, you know, as, as the, the lowest that mine is. So this is an example of the lowest type of brand that will be in my shop going forward. And this is a hob and it is just a cotton jersey stretch jersey thing um which I, I i only i did only pick this up yesterday um but i just i thought that was that was worth grabbing for three quid so yeah it that is tops isn't it it's not jumpers um i've really got to try and work out where the hell i am now with everything um <clears throat> i don't think i've got any jumpers i think i did sort of like go through everything. I've also picked this up. Um, this is one of these, this, all three of these are like brands which I'm a bit like, uh, about. Um, so this is And Other Stories. Um, but obviously it's leopard print. So animal print does well. So I thought, yeah, I'll grab that. It says US 10, um, 
which would therefore mean that it is a size 14 so it must be a very like cropped blouse but you know this the, the weather will change even though I mean it was terrifying yesterday the hail somebody thought that we, we had a problem out the back and we dropped a load of stuff but it was literally hailing so bad that the car park was just filled with um, a whiteout in the end so it was pretty horrific weather yesterday well not when I walked in it was beautiful sunshine when I walked into work but there you go so yeah I'm hoping to like get 20 for these things most of my stuff is probably going to go to buy it now because um, unless I'm like putting picking up fat face and white stuff stuff is not going to be put on auction necessarily even though our auction allowance is going off in in April um, don't think I'm going to be utilizing it that much so this I have picked up which is jigsaw very reluctant with jigsaw it's usually only like cashmere that I pick up um, but I just I, I, I picked that up without sort of like thinking about it and I put that to one side and I just thought yeah I'll have that because it's a nice print it is a really nice floral and then when I was paying for it I was like hmm feels a bit silky and it is it's a hundred percent silk so that's a bonus. So maybe because it's 100% silk, I've made a push for 25. So, summer dresses. You know, here's me. I've just been talking about the high-end labels that I'm going to be picking up. And this is not a high-end label. So you should just disregard everything I say. Um, I think that this, this is probably like, the beginning of you know like it probably is like 20 years ago new look i'm not sure what label that is but this is new look so obviously that's not a high end at all but cherry print fit and flare dress you cannot go wrong with that you know we are going to be having wedding season you know unless um we've got a new pandemic to worry about um, I think we probably will because for something that um, Matt Hancock accidentally said in one of his interviews, he said, well, you know, we'll know what to do the next time it happens and it will happen. So, the, the, you know, there is plans for us to have another horrible session <laughs> of a pandemic. Yeah, so this it's even got a little bit of like netting um, in the um, lining. So... I think that will be perfect for wedding season, but obviously it is only a size eight. But it's still going to be a 20 quidder dresses. This is my intention, is that I'm supposed to be putting everything into like for like piles. This is something I've never found before. Um, so this is Lucy and Yak. Um, I mean, I have no clue who the hell is going to buy these. Um, here's Siobhan. I think they kind of fit her. Yeah, I think yeah, I think they might fit fit Siobhan. Um maybe a bit big. Uh, but I do like them. Yeah, so so these trousers, you know, Siobhan would like. I better put you there because she's leaning against the radiator and I don't want her to get too hot. Um yeah. The dungarees are the things that everybody wants for these, not necessarily the trousers. But obviously these have these have sold out on their website um i can't remember what it is no i should be able to but i mean the thing is i've paid three pounds for these um so do not fear if like many other cancer researchers um if yours is, is like mine that they've gone up to the three to the five everything five pound and under these were three pounds um even though they know that I know my stuff, I'm not. I'm not in charge of pricing. I'm literally tilted off. But it's new with tags. I've looked at their website, and they're not. They're not like massively expensive anyway. So this is called the Addison Orange Cotton Pink Oversized. Oversized. Oversized for who? <laughs> I don't know whose waist that is. Um, so they must be high waisted. Um, yeah, obviously they're high waisted because nobody's box is that big, is, is they? That that box, so um, it's probably more like there, but it does say waist twenty six. So you know, not a great size, but a fabulous find. Um, 
keep your eye out for the dungarees. But I'm probably not going to be able to sell them for any more than 30, 35. I, you know, even though they are new with tags, I don't think I'm going to be able to push that much for them because they're small size. <coughs> this is the thing that I've picked up off the floor. Um, mint velvet, just a jumper. Um, it's got like 5% cashmere in it. I just thought, blow it, let's, let's have that. Um, just because it was there. That's some stupid hats that were going to go in the bin at my husband's work. So he kindly brought them home for me. I really don't know what I'm going to do with them. Um, I suppose I should like just list them. Somebody might want them. I'll put them together. Um, linen pair of trousers, very wide leg. Um, wide leg was the fashion last year and the year before. So um, that's probably gone out of the window. So this is a mistake. Just white stuff. Size 14, um, very happy with that, for three quid, probably be a 20 quidder. I think it's very hard to get fantastic prices for things. So this would probably be my annual find for toast. So we've got toast there. Again, I've only paid three pounds for this and that was after the price structure had changed to everything five pounds. But, um, and my colleague said that she knew what they were and she'd even like questioned it. And they said, no, no, put three pounds on it. Uh, so they sat on the shop floor um, on the rail. I was on, I was on the till for ages. And I was like, that pattern looks really nice on them. Same with those Lucy and Yak. They sat there for ages and I was like, that patterning looks really nice. I'll just I'll just check what that is before I put it out on the shop floor. Um, so even from a distance now, I can see my brands. So, you know, so there was ample opportunity for some for another customer to buy it. And trust me, other customers have bought things before and I've been like, no. Um, I missed out on a Universal Works the other day because a customer had found it and I hadn't. And a pretty green jacket. Oh, I wish that had fallen off the hanger. Anyway, so that's toast. Um, again, a small size. I think it's like eight. Um, it's down by the care label with theirs. But just, a, you know, a basic cotton skirt is all that that is. And then I've got this. I think I've probably already shown you this because this was covered in sputum. Um, so I, this has been in the wash. So I, I suspect that I've probably already shown you this. There's probably a number of things in here which I've already shown you, but I I put everything into sort of like categories the other day, thinking that I was going to do things in categories, but it's just going to be a waste of my time. Anyway, this is one of these nicer skirts by White Stuff. Again, this was sat out ages, and I'd walk past it. I'd walk past it for about three hours when I was at work. And I was like, I must look at that because that, that, that's got a really cool garish print. Um, let's have a look at it. And it was white stuff, um, which I know that isn't great. And I'm only going to get £20, maybe £25. They used to get 30 very easily for them, but not anymore. Um, so that's what that is. Um, then I've got, this is when I started putting everything into sort of piles. So I've got a whole load of stuff in piles here. So I'm just going to rattle through these really quickly. Um, again, all stuff which I've got for three pounds. Um, pair of Levi's, 502. These would have been five pounds actually, um, thinking about it. Um, because I know that the Levi's have gone to the five pound structure. What are these? Oh yeah, these were in with the menswear. <laughs> Again, the only reason I found these is because they'd fallen on the floor off the stupid clippy hanger things. Um, these actually, these actually, these were in the men's wear and they are actually women's wear. So it's S for Max Mara. Um, so probably forty pounds for them. I'm going to say because the thing is, is that they just don't have a good sell through rate. I know that people say, oh, you could, you should push the book, push the window and set your own price but i'm not waiting forever to sell <laughs> those trousers um and this is why i do ironing rather than steaming because these things get steamed at work it's one of the big things that they do out the back is steam them for ages 
um, they have a lot of people who are um, working off their probation hours who do the steaming. Another, you know, another little interesting thing for you. <coughs> so, um, yeah, three pounds for them, women's wear, but they'll be 40. I'm not going to push the ceiling because I want to pay my mortgage. Uh, well, I don't want to pay my mortgage. I want to pay off my credit card debt. I'm going to be paying my bills with my with the money that I'm getting from work. And then I want to start settling the debt, which I have amassed due to lockdown. Um, anyway, these are Oscar. Very rarely find Oscar. Um, I think these are linen. Are they linen? Are they linen? Are you going to linen me? Linen and viscosin and elastic. Dun, 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 dun. Um, let's have it in English. Linen, viscose and elastine. So yeah, a nice stretchy trouser. Great for summer. Um, size three. Um, I've only just sold the other Oscar thing I've had for a year. Um, everybody seems to do so bloody well with Oscar. That's only the second time I found it. Um, I had this jacket. I had it up for 65 quid. Um, other people seem to sell jackets for a lot more. Not me. So I had these jackets out there for ages. Somebody offered me £30, I think, for it, or £40. I let it go for 40 I let it go for whatever it was. Can't remember. Oh, these were another thing that was £3, which I was just like, I'm totally confused as to what's going on. Um, I shouldn't be confused because, you know, I know these people now. But I say I like them. I don't dislike anybody that I work with. Some of them I just, I, you know, some of the people I... You know, you can make your opinion about them, but I don't dislike anybody who I'm working with. So, you know, there we are. There's this horrible staple here. I wonder why it's there. I think it's supposed to be keeping that in place. Anyway, this is genuine. I've looked these up. Um, they're not on the website. They're just Cavalli. I just can't, I just can't, just Cavalli can't believe it. <laughs> that I get these things for three pounds. Anyway, yeah, just Cavalli. New with tax. Um, I was just like, well, it must be fake. Um, but it's not. It's got a, a replacement bloody... I mean, you'd have to be a bit brutal to be able to replace one of these zips. Uh, but yeah, it, it's totally genuine. It's got the holograms. Um, again, uh, one of these sizes, just like, who is this person? Um, I don't know what I'm going to get for these because... I can't work out the market. Obviously, just Cavalli is not Roberto Cavalli. It's this is the lesser of the thing, but you know, very nice. Hopefully, fifty to sixty, sixty. I don't know. My the, the only other just Cavalli thing that I've got has not sold. Um, and I've had. I think I've had that was a jumper, and it's very rhinestone and beautiful, and it, that's sat there and it hasn't gone anywhere. Um. I think I've got that on for like 70 quid, so that's probably too much. I don't know. I don't know if it's because my just my store is mixed up because it's, you know, part Lego, part clothing. Um, All Saints. I really hope that there's no weird stains on here. Yes, there is. The most ominous of stains on the crotch at the back. I mean, it's quite a relief to know that other people's periods aren't that bad but I think that that might actually be piss because it's yellow so we're going to place that over there we're going to wash that I hate washing white things they always find something in my washing machine residue to um, ruin them maybe I should just soak it but it's, it that's pretty gross I just I, I don't like white colored items Everybody else does, but I don't. I've got a pair of nudies. It's been at least a year since I found a pair of nudies. I don't think these are anything fantastic. These are thin, thin, dry twill. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't think that they sell for any more than 30. So that is just a 30. I haven't had anything chopped on the leg. Um... I'm sick of having conversations with people about how about their size. Um, you see, that's another thing that I've had. I've had a bad feedback, but I'll talk about that at the beginning of my next haul video because otherwise this will just be too 
um, long. Anyway, um, Tommy Hilfiger patchwork like stripes remind me of something that I had um, from Pepe jeans, which I would really like. Um, but obviously these are 29 and they're not to my waist. Hi, Ryson. Um, the only issue that I've got with these are, is that supposed to have happened? I don't know. Um, and they're not finished in any way, but you know, who even knows nowadays? Uh, but I think I'll be able to sell them even if they have, if that is a genuine hack. Um, but I, I don't know. <laughs> but probably not for anything more than 25. Um, another pair of Levi's, 510s. 510s are the good ones. Uh, people like 510s. Um, at least the ones that are screwed up. I've got a pair of those which are, are a mistake because they've got a repair on the bum, which I hadn't noticed. See, that is one of the things is that if I'm just throwing something to one side, I'm not checking it like I would be if I was sourcing properly. They will be a 30 pounder because they are, um, what's the word? Popular. I don't know. I think they're unisex or not. Um, so these aren't the ones that are repaired either. I don't know. Uh, so what are these? High rise skinny. I've had high rise skinny before. I could have sworn that this was the one. Um, but it doesn't appear to be. I don't know if I've put them in my backlog or not. Anyway, I think that's it. I think all of that stuff in there is stuff which I've previously shown you. Anyway, yeah, there will be probably like more like the 20 region. What have I got here? Um, God, most of this is like new stuff. Oh, this is, I mean, this is this is the problem, isn't it? When you've got stuff which is sat around. So this is new with tags, um, but now tag is a bit worse for wear. Joseph Ribkoff. I'm very reluctant with Joseph Ribkoff because most of the stuff which I've had Joseph Ribkoff just hasn't sold. And then I've ended up putting it on auction for 9 99 And um, then after nine years has passed, it sold for 9 99 on auction or an offer of less. And I think the last one, I accepted an offer of eight pounds. Then the bitch whore cunt woman who bloody bought it, obviously wore it for the event and then returned it in its stank of sweat. So I vigorously looked, searched for her on Facebook to see if I could find photos of her wearing it at an event. I couldn't, so I had to bloody well refund whore bag. Don't like people. Block. I do not like people. It says the woman who now works in the customer facing role. Yeah, so Joseph Ribkoff, and it has got its new with tags um, thing, uh, whatever you call it, a uh, fairly wide leg trouser type situation. <laughs> I, I picked them up at least six weeks ago. <laughs> This is a dress. This is a dress for, I don't, I mean, this looks like a dress for a child, doesn't it? Look at it. I'm get, moving further and further forward um, and you're seeing less and less of the whole lot of the garment. But you know what I mean? That could be a kid's dress. It's a size six, um, Fred Perry. Um, so obviously, I mean, somebody will better squeeze themselves into that, you know. I, I talk like I don't remember being slim. <laughs> Once you're big, you can't ever remember those days when you were slim. Um, and these, I feel like I've, I feel like I've shown these. There's, there's definitely a lot of things there which I have shown you. Anyway, I'm just gonna get these out because they need to just go. Um, I've got that dress, this dress here, very very lacy. Um, this is probably gonna sit in my shop, and I shouldn't have picked it up. I need to specifically stick to size 12 and above with this brand it's Chi Chi London um, it's very flattering um, for the larger lady and this is a size 8 so um, will it sell possibly not for any more than 25 quid I have another Chi Chi London which is new with tags um, and maybe it's just because it's not wedding season but 
you know, it sat in my shop for a long time and you'd hope, you'd think that some newer tags would sell, but I haven't. But then, you know, everybody's selling clothes. And then this, uh, this is fat face and I need to put a stitch through this because the, the, the curl, the, the, the label's hanging off. Just a basic blouse there, which is fat face. You don't need to see that because that's boring. That'll go on auction. I'm not going to deal with that today. I'm going to sew that. Right, so I'm going to go now because this is now a very long video. Um, and part two of this haul will be up shortly. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'm going to tie things up there. <laughs> and please tune in to the next thing if you want to hear about my bad feedback uh, scenario, story, um, encounter. Encounter with the man with the dick in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it sound more interesting than it is anyway yes thank you for watching and i will be back again very soon and um yeah thanks for persevering with massive gaps between my videos um but anyway it's goodbye from me and goodbye from the frogs goodbye